Hey guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. I want to read a verse of scripture to you from the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Some of you are very familiar with this passage. It says, For by grace have you been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Now, this is one of the most important passages in the New Testament uh, to Christians, because it 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 explains to you and I what it means and how that we go about becoming a Christian. You know, when Jesus told Nicodemus uh, in John chapter 3, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That passage is something I'm sure that, that uh, you know, those words are, are something that we all need to think about as it pertains to our own salvation. Listen, you cannot do enough good things to be saved. If you could do enough good deeds to be saved, Jesus did not need to go to a cross. Our salvation is dependent upon His mercy and His grace and the fact that we ask for it. One of the examples that I always use is I hand, you know, I have a dollar. I don't have one in my hand right now, but if I have a dollar and I'm going to hand it to someone and I ask the person, is this your dollar while it's still in my hand? And they say, well, no. I, and I, I tell them, when is it going to be your dollar? When you accept it. When you receive that dollar, then it becomes yours. Look, you know, when I was eight years old, you know, I, I realized I was a sinner. I realized that I couldn't save myself. And I needed to repent of my sin and ask Christ into my heart to save me. I was saved by grace through the faith that, you know, that I believed. Uh, Romans 10, uh, 9 and 10 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes, resulting in righteousness, with his mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. That's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And it's only through, uh, you know, Jesus Christ that we can be saved. You know, there are people out there that say, well, you Christians, you know, you, you're, you're kind of eliminating a lot of the people. Other faiths saying that you're the only people that can go to heaven. No, anyone who believes in Christ, anyone that asks and receives uh, for this salvation, repents of their sin, can be saved. But they have to believe in Jesus Christ, and they have to, you know, the Holy Spirit. When when the Holy Spirit speaks to their heart, they have to answer that call. Listen, if you're out there today and you're not sure whether or not you are a Christian, go back to that point in your life. Have you ever? You know, prayed and asked Christ in your heart, admitting that you were a sinner and that you needed a Savior and asked for forgiveness of your sins and asked Christ to save you. If you've never done that, if you never prayed a prayer like that before, then you need to go back. If you've ever said some words, maybe you were, some of you guys, you know, we talk about this all the time. If you, we, We've been at youth camps and, and, you know, a lot of times students will repeat um, prayers that other people say, say amen. If you're not for sure that you really meant those words, you need to go back to that time. Listen, God knows our heart. We only know what we see and what we hear from other folks. Anyway, guys, I hope that these words help you. If you know for sure that you're a Christian, praise God. If you're not sure and you'd love to talk to me about it, I you know, give me a call, text me, message me, and I'd love to sit down with you. Anyway, have a great day, guys. God bless you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.